what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the crowd So what's up y'all, it's Coach from Talk of the Town We got a new episode We have a special guest from Harlem R2RMO For shows, Mr. r 2 all here, let's do it Yeah, Eddie We here, my fault, I'm taking a shot <laughs> Taking a shot, right? Yeah, we have, Is there we anything we can't talk about? No. So we can get into everything. We can get into yeah. everything. Let's play ball. Eddie, he just threw you in the mix. Do you have anything we can't talk nah, about? Nah, I mean, I'm here. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can talk about whatever. We transparent. Real. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm an open book. All right, book. So, so basically, it's rapid fire questions. I'm asking some questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. So y'all gonna take turns. Y'all cannot have the same answer. I ain't gonna lie. All right. <laughs> All right, most famous person in your phone. Cash. Probably Jay Critch. Um, Skepta. I'm lying. Skepta. Okay. Uh, Busta Rhymes. I lied. My fault. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. probably Jay Critch for real. Okay. Um, All right, nice. Most used emoji. The laughing one. Um, Fine, everything funny. The t the tears, like both eyes tearing, like like both eyes tearing. <laughs> okay. Um, red flag and a female. Bad breath. F fanned out. Fanned out. Stinky breath. We're gonna get into that Alex later. Hosa's breath. Um, <laughs> do you believe in the expression "mother knows best"? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Okay. What strokes your ego? A girl telling me she listened to my music. That's mad regular. What? How that's regular? Mad <laughs> girls listen to your music. Exactly. So. Oh, so you just. I, I, if she know the lyrics, like, all right, let me play ball a little bit. Yeah. What stroke my ego? I don't know for us. One time you spell good or something. Like, okay. So you come yeah. on. That, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Right. That was fake. A good one. Powerful. All right. If you could ask the government one question, what would it be? Why aren't we printing more money? Okay. Bro, I say y'all can't have the same answers. Eddie, what's up? I will just be like, what's up with y'all? Like, y'all want some bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> y'all want some bullshit? That's yeah. your question? Yeah, what's up with y'all? That would be my question. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my question. <laughs> Eddie is a funny character, bro. Like, hey, go on. What's up with y'all? Yeah, what's up with y'all over there? All right, favorite slang word? Where about? Hmm. Nah. <laughs> What's your favorite song word? Um, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Damn, we can't have the same answer. Type yeah, shit. Y'all both can't say type shit. I'm not jacking it. I like type shit. I say type shit. I say type shit a lot. Yeah, I say type Yeah. Because it's just type shit. Mo, what should we say? I don't think I have one. Favorite slang word? So you say everything. Yeah, like. More or nothing. If it attributes, I'm using it. That's because he took your answer. All right. Facts. <laughs> All right. Eddie's still in now. I'm still All right, in. so walk us through how you got your name, R2R Mo. What that mean? Okay, so R2R means road to riches. When I was in high school, my name used to be JCM.Mo, which was my brother that I met in after school. He came up with his own little entrepreneur business ship thing. So I was riding along with them. I bumped into my friend Jamari and keep money, my two friends from high school. And it was like, yo, we starting this business, entrepreneurship thing, we wanna call it, what you think? And we all agreed on all to all, like road to riches. And then it just stuck with us. Like, okay, this was high school or college? High school. Okay. My sophomore year, it just stuck with us. And then along the ride, like, you feel me? I never changed my name and it, it ultimately becoming who I am today. Okay. I got it tatted a couple times. You got it tatted a couple times? Yeah. And then my brother who passed away, his Instagram name was it before he passed. So it was just, it started becoming like a monumental thing. Like it was okay. just like, we got to keep it now. It's turned. Okay. okay. I feel like it's different. So can someone else be R2R or not? Nah, it's not. It don't work like that. Like, <laughs> That's it? Like, Eddie R2R? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like <laughs> my brother's like, it's like, at this point, it, it's kind of feel like it's, we not really doing it for like, the notoriety and what we know comes with it. It's like we got actual people who like believed in this and not here to see what's going on today. So I don't think it's fair to just 
and let anybody just be like they all to all like they fucking with us I get it but I don't think it worked like that alright so when did you know you was into music um, I used to do Broadway theater, so I used to take like acting classes and do like chorus class with ensemble at this place named Harbor on like 104th Street. I know I'm spilling the beans, but I feel like you should take your kids there. Harbor, I used to do chorus and little acting classes off Broadway shows, and it just made me like fall in love with music, just and being involved in music. And then in high school, um. I have a, a, another brother who make music named Wavy Red. He had made this summer album. He went on Facebook and seen me making videos singing. And he asked me to sing a chorus on his album. Okay. And I just kickstarted it. From there, I just started so making music. he brought music. you to your first session. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Shout out at Wavy Red underscore. Mm -hmm. That's still his shit? That's, yeah, it's still him. That's crazy. Okay, but I also know you went to college, so why you didn't finish school, college? Uh, I went to college as a football player. Uh -huh. I was there on scholarship, and you know I went to Catholic school, so okay. you know you gotta pay a bill every year. Niggas not trying to pay like ten, eleven thousand to go to school. That shit started getting crazy at a point. So my last year, we hadn't paid all the debt off while I was in school, and they they ruled me ineligible because I didn't have my transcript at any time. So when I had went back home. Some funny business had happened where they pulled my whole scholarship, and at the end, we was had to pay in like full price, which would have been like 12K for my first semester. And we was really going to school on scholarship for like a K a semester. So I just told my moms, like, for me, I think I could figure it out. Like, okay. well, she, was rejecting do that. she was mad. Nah, she didn't like it at first, of course. You know how it go, like. Yeah. Are you Caribbean? Like, what's your background? I'm just black American. <laughs> That's it. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I got nothing else. Let me keep okay. it G. But okay. I'm not gonna lie. Like I ain't looked down my my path. I just might have something else. Okay, okay, okay. You ain't cool with your pops? Yeah, I'm cool with my pops. Yeah, That's he did my son. Music, so yeah. Like, That's he, my he little bro. To you? Yeah, he was at. I just did a headlining show in New York. He was on stage with me. That I? Yeah. Yeah, did pops on stage. Yeah, That's it was fine. cool. I ain't even know that nigga was there. I'm gonna lie. I just looked back, and I seen something that looked like me. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> Fuck. I was like, oh, that's Can my problem. Nah, I knew he was coming. I just didn't know what time he'd be there because he don't live in New York. So uh, he, he flew in the day of uh, and pulled up to the show. It was hard. Nice. So your family supports the music, though? Absolutely. That's why. I'm doing that's it right now. That's why. All right, so Mr. Make a Movie, what does that mean? Everywhere I go, it's just I get like that. Mm -hmm. No questions about Eddie, is that we, true? Everywhere we go, fact. I get like that. That's a fact. We pulling up 40 deep. I'm not asking no holsters. I'm not asking nobody how many comps I get. I'm coming 40, 50 mm -hmm. deep. You got to know already. Like, yeah, you're just making a like, movie. How many people I can bring y'all? I ask you, I respect you like a lot. So <laughs> I asked you beforehand, I said, how many people can I pull up with? I was going to pull up with 50 niggas. <laughs> but I said, you know what? I'm going to keep it respectful. Look, I pulled up. I'm only four deep. deep. So this is a calm day. This is not regular. This is a calm this is a super day. calm day. All right. Super calm. Yeah. So question, do you make a movie every day or just when you're coming outside? Just when I'm coming outside. A lot of the time I'll be in the crib. So you a house boy for real, for real. Yeah, I'm just starting to figure out, like, going outside and doing all that extra shit. Like. Okay. So how did y'all meet at the end? How did y'all meet? Yeah. We grew up together. Yeah, our lives. We was from like, the same block. So you from Harlem too? Yeah. Nice. We was from the same block. So he okay. wasn't too far. I would like run into my son every now and then. You know so you know he was on music? Nah. Nah. I didn't know. Nah. He so was he always was playing ball. Nah, not that. Like, <laughs> I right, like when he I was met, an bro. Athlete, you know yeah, saying? when we yeah, met, like, like I was I was an athlete and like I pulled up on bro on one night. I used to pull up on bro all the time. It was a group of friends that we we had mutually. So I used yeah, to pull so up on bro a lot on 119th. We used to be outside. And, yeah. And then, yeah, we went to my son's crib. I was making beats. And then I found out he wanted to hop on one of the tracks that I made. So I'm like, all right, bet. And then okay. that was since Did then. Did you have a producer before me and Eddie or not? No. Okay. So y'all yeah, basically I, like yeah. developed together type Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how do you feel about the like producer to artist combo? Because I feel like right now in the town, 
Cash is producing and, and on his own shit, mm -hmm. but like the only other producer artist combo we have is like Ryan and Ice Face. Yeah, that's a fact. So like, what's y'all playing for real? I mean, there's a bunch of things that, like, you know what I'm saying, gotta be important. Like, the chemistry gotta be there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, like, our chemistry already there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every track we make. I also mm -hmm. think it's a little different with us, because it's like, like, this is really my brother. So, it's like, yeah, like, besides making music, like, we spend a lot of the days normally with one another. Yeah, feel me? So, it's like, chilling. and when we decide we wanna go make music, it's like just one, two, three, because we already just spent the last nine hours with each other. Oh, so you know how to engineer yourself? So you just make the beats and he engineers. Yeah. Okay. So you just need a studio and then you good. Word. <laughs> you should have all right. Do you feel like you need all the like amenities in the studio, or you feel like? Just a mic. Actually, actually don't like big studio. I like intimate studio too. It makes the music better. Like when it's a small crowd, a small space, and like all of us. Can I'll try ideas off one another and make it make sense. But the big studios, they just be like, it's wild, extra space, but no reason. It's for the studio. It's different, but they need to use it. It's about craft. So I got to like, sit down and think about what I'm going to do, how I'm going to put it in words. I can't have 50 niggas. I'm looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so in the studio, it's just like you, the engineer, and like who else? Like, what's a good studio session look like? Um, I have two different moves. So lately, I've been going to the studio by myself just because I'm cooking up this new project from scratch. So mm -hmm. I just like to be locked in with my thoughts. I don't even go with an engineer. Like, it's just me. Like, and I might wake up and feel like going. Sometimes it's 9 a.m. Sometimes it's 1 in the morning. So but you already got the beats. You're just kind of going to lay down. No, nah, I don't have nothing. I just go, in, <laughs> I just go there okay. like, with my phone and some money and just hope I'm going <laughs> to figure something out. Okay. And that's really how I be. But Eddie usually, like, it's, that's why the, the artist producer combo is so easy because it's like, as soon as I get to the stoop, I know the first messages I'm opening is with Eddie. Mm -hmm. And more likely, nine times out of ten, maybe even 9.9 .9 times out of ten, I'm going to go through our messages and find something I can rap on. Okay. So it's easy. Um, and then my other mood is like, I go to the stoop with a group, but it's a, it's a select group. It's not all 40 niggas. Like, okay. It's like select six out of six. my 40 that I, I'm really, really comfortable with. Like, okay. I'm comfortable with all my brothers, but... It's a couple that, like, I'm sitting in the stool and, like, I flew all my brothers out to London for the Skeptics thing. Yeah. So that select group that I flew out to London is usually the same crew that I'm always in the stool with. Yeah, like, okay. it just helped me get my, it helped me process my ideas easier for sure. All right, so you're going to the studio with, like, no beats. So what do you hit up Eddie when you're ready for beats? Like, how does that, how does that go? I usually already have a bunch of beats in my messages. I tell my producers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I just be selling him shit. I tell all my, <laughs> I tell all my producers like Eddie, my man. So it's different. Like, I usually be with him when he cooking up. But everybody else, I tell him like, even if I don't respond, keep sending me beats because I'm actively in the studio every day. I just wake up and get bored. This is what we gonna do right now. Shout out Lounge and Stu at Lounge and Stu on Facts. Instagram. That is the number one studio in New York. My brother Lawson. Mm -hmm. He he gave us the keys to go there for the last year, and every time we wake up and get bored, we able to pull up to the stool. We got the password for me, and it's love. Yeah, it's home base there. So like, if you're looking for a studio to go record at, go there. The best engine. Ask for Joe. Bingo. If you want to sound like me, because I know you niggas be copying my swag, go to Lounge and Stool, and and ask for Joe. He gonna get you right. Bingo. Absolutely, I can't. For me, on, it's bro. normal though. It's, it's how it's supposed to go. Like, I'm not one person that I'm very humble about what I do. Like, I know I could lose all this shit tomorrow, so I'm not one nigga that go on a gram and pop my shit all day. I'm not always outside. I take everything by graces, like day by day, step by step. So I understand it's a couple niggas out there, or even more than a couple, like a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. I feel like because I'm not actively on a gram or I'm not doing much, it's okay to go in the studio. And sound just like me, cause people not gonna think that's what you're doing. Okay, when you say sound just like you mean sound, or they be taking your lyrics too? Everything, not even lyrics. No, I don't think nobody copy my lyrics, cause nobody can rap like me. <laughs> I think niggas be taking my lips, mm, flows, yeah, my flows. Okay. 
shit like that. But like I said, like it's normal. Like I don't want to make it like it's a, like it's a big thing. It's just that's what come with it. Like when you doing shit and you good at what you do, it's people that's gonna see what you do and feel like they could do it just like you. Yeah, or and do it better. I'm gonna let you niggas know right now, it's not working. Mm. It's not working, but you see them. Do you comment? You be like laughing emoji, or you don't say nothing? Nah, I'm fake. I show love. Oh, you gonna comment flames? Nah, I just like it. <laughs> I play the I play the background. What's your sign? I'm a Sag. Okay. I'll go against the whole world. Yeah, the whole world's copying. I'll play ball with the whole world. The whole world. All right, so everybody wanna know, are you a Slizzy? Then I see this question was, yo, what? Then I say, yo, what? Then I see this. Word to my mother, I said like this, that, right? Too. Just like that. I can't even really give you an answer. Like I'm gonna leave this in the air. Those my brothers. Like we locked in. Uh-huh. It's all everybody on the same path. We all going on the same path together. Am I slizzy? Am I not slizzy? The world may never know. Keep guessing. That's what make it so beautiful. <laughs> and so that's what make it so cool. Like nobody could figure me out. That's why it's so fun. I get that. I get to do what I want in this shit. I don't like that answer, but like, okay. So, how do you? All right, and people also compare you to Don Tolliver. What do you have to say about those comments? Um, I'm a very big fan of Don. Like, a lot of people ask me what's one feature I want to do, and I always say Don. Not, I don't make my music like in comparison to Don, or I don't make it thinking like about Don while I'm mm-hmm. making it, but. I think a lot of people just give that comparison because when Dawn first came out, it was a sound nobody really heard of Thanks. with the same kind of tone that I use in my music. And then when I came out, a lot of people was like, I never heard nothing like this either. So it, it all makes sense. Okay. So you going up, the Slizzies is going up right now. Like what separates you from them? Or like how do you stand out of the circle? Um, I think it's just my content. Like... And not even with standing out, I think it's really just a yin yang of New York right now. Like, mm-hmm. it's either you like this, or you like this. Not like we pitted against one another, but mm-hmm. it's just two. It's two different contents. Like, their music is like very upbeat and very fun and very like Freaky. club party. Yeah, my music is very like in a crib, feeling some type of way, driving for a long time. Like, <laughs> so it's just yeah, it's so like yin yang. Like Say on my tongue. You feel like you meant cartoons, like car vibes. Yeah, like just like. Sit down, and when you have all your thoughts to yourself tunes, I feel like when you driving by yourself, that's a time where you play my music. Or like, if you just went through something, or not even a traumatic experience, just something you feel like you're not able to talk about, that's when you put my music on. Just little shit like that. It's like a yin and yang in New York right now. It's beautiful. Okay. How do you feel about it? Like, everybody kind of hopped on the whole slizzy wave when that shit started, like, going up. How do you feel about that? I think it's kind of what you expect. Like, New York was looking for something new after Drill started dying out. And you got this new, fun, energetic, enigmatic sound that's coming out. So everybody feel like, feel me? I could play one of these beats in the stool and get on it, too. So I don't blame everybody. It just comes to a point where, obviously, it gets a little oversaturated because everybody feel like they could do it. And it's not a lot of niggas that could do it. Alright, is there anybody that got on the Slizzy wave that you was like, oh shit, like I didn't know? Of course, Don got on it, but like anybody else? Did like a Slizzy type beat that shocked you or surprised you? Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um. Hey, everybody sound like each other. <laughs> really Alright, people say though that you're underrated. Do you feel like that? Yeah, but. Yeah. I was gonna give the humble answer, but nah, yeah. Eddie, what you say? You yeah. feel like I was underrated? Yeah, my son's underrated. I just sure. feel like it's going to take a little while for people to adapt to what I'm talking about because the sound of New York is like fun going and upbeat and just going outside and do whatever you want. But when these people go home and all that stuff dials down and it's just you in your room, you got to think about something else, right? And that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. All right, but do you feel like you get the recognition from your city, though? Oh, yeah, absolutely. In New York, I feel like I, I solidify myself enough to where it's love. Like, even on, on in comments, like, I don't really got to respond to hate comments like that. Like, people going support me. Like, it's love now. Mm-hmm. I sold out my first headliner show here. Yeah. And I seen, so I got put on to you from KJ Shot when we did the reflections. Yeah, that's my brother. Yeah, 
Yeah, so, and I seen you perform at his show and stuff like that. Was you a surprise guest? Because it was one of them. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be there. So what happened? Um... I was with my son. I was with a couple of my sons downtown, and somebody had called one of my sons and was like, "Yo, you with Mo right now?" And he was like, "Yeah." And I, I ended up grabbing the phone. And he like, "Yo, KJ was calling you. He trying to get in contact with you." And I'm like, All right, "Let me call my brother, see what's going on." And I called him, and he's like, "Yo, how many people did you tell you was pulling up tonight?" And I said, "I only told Emro." He's like, all right, well, because now people are expecting you. I said, well, somebody else spilled the beans. It wasn't me. <laughs> and then I ultimately was just like, fuck it, we all out. And we just pulled up over there. My son, Will, he was DJing. He played one of my songs. I'm like, might as well. Right. I might as well go grab the mic now. It don't make no sense not to. So it all, it all ended up going really cool, though. Have you seen, sort of like, where you started, like, going up? Like, who would you say helped you? Like, what did you start noticing to, like, the transition to you growing up? Um, was it, like, fans, comments, views, following? Like, what was it that? I think it was fans for real. Like, I started getting a lot more respect, like, of stuff I was doing. Like, I was posting stuff before. And I used to always tell my friends, like, I feel like I'm making really great music right now. And it sucks that I have to waste it in my terms. That's what I like to use. Why is it because at the time I wasn't getting many views and I feel like I'm making great music. So it feels like I'm kind of wasting the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, I'm dropping this song. It might only get 10,000 right now. Of course, later down the line, people might come back and tune in. But right now, I'm expecting more than 10,000 views because I'm thinking to myself, it's an amazing song. So I used to feel like I was wasting music. And then just slowly but surely, I just started like, you know what? Like, I'm not really making music to make music. Like, this is how I express myself. This is my therapy. I got to stop thinking about it like, this song got a hit, and this song got a hit, and this next song that I drop got to be a hit. I got to just drop how I'm feeling, and I started doing that. And then, slowly but surely, like, shit just started going crazy. Like, I'm like, all right, this is something I can actually do. Even all the anticipation onto my project, it was like, like a lot of people was waiting on that to drop. A lot more people than I thought. So it was it was beautiful. Everything. Okay. So did you have to like adjust your lifestyle a little bit, being that you started getting more things? Yes. <laughs> like, what does that look like a lot more people approach me outside now, and I think it's because, like I said, I think my music is like therapy. So these people are approaching me like, yo, like. I listen to you every single day, gang. Like, yo, you got me through some shit, bro. So it's people approaching me by the day. It didn't really make me do nothing too crazy. Just like, all right, maybe I shouldn't be taking a train. <laughs> for me? That's a fact. Shit like that. Like, I shouldn't be taking a bus. I shouldn't just be walking around Harlem. Like, little stuff like that. All right. And then, like, a lot of people, like, kind of like, oh, I'm going to go single, single, single. But you did the whole project. Was that to, like, reintroduce yourself? Or was it, like, that was, like, what you was going through at that time? Like, um, I feel like I kept teasing. I was teasing a project for a very long time. Even when I dropped my single, oh, Masterpiece. Yeah. yeah, everybody thought Masterpiece was the project. And I was just a single from the project. So I think it was long overdue at the time. Um, right now, I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about it. But I know I'm going to do it correctly. So, Next project? Yeah. Because I'm actually starting this one from scratch. Like my last one I had tucked for a little bit. And I was just waiting for the perfect time. Okay. So you be holding on to songs? Yeah, absolutely. Right. How many songs y'all got in the tuck? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we can't answer we can't really answer that, I'm not gonna lie. We make we go to the studio every day. Okay. Like Monday through Sunday. Okay. And if yeah, I'm not there, he's real. cooking up. And if he's not cooking up, I'm recording. So it's yeah, like so. So how do you decide, okay, this is a song I'm going to put out versus this is a song that I'm going to hold on to? I think it's the feel behind it. Like, if I can listen to a song and feel some type of way or think back to a situation I went through or even make me tear up, like, in the vulnerable most, in the most vulnerable way possible, like, I think it's, it's the one. Mm. I think that's what I got my name for, like, just being able to just like, touch people and make them feel how I feel for me in the most general way possible. Okay, how emotional would you say you are on a scale of 10? 
it's crazy because I'm not emotional at all. Like, I don't be crying and shit. Like, <laughs> I didn't think you'd be crying. Bro. Shit don't really make me sad. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm so nonchalant nowadays. Stuff don't really bother me. But it's easy for me to... But your music has feelings. So it's like, I don't know. It gives you kind of emotional. Though. You know what I think it is, though? I keep everything bottled up. Like, I don't just have normal conversations, like, okay. about how I'm feeling and, and doing the venting process and all that. I don't really do that. Like, if I'm going through something, it just stick with me until I figure out how to how to solve it. And in that meantime, I might just go to the store and talk about it. Okay. I think that's how the whole last project came about. But I don't want to sound like no sad-ass nigga. Like, this next project is not going to be sad at all. Okay. It's going to be more fun? Yeah, it's going to be a, a bunch of upbeat shit. Yeah. Okay. There's so gonna be a couple on there. Vibes. Not like that. Yeah, like, nah, like, like, so. okay, like, but it's it's not like, like sexy drill one. Like, like, it's still it's still what I've it's still what I've been doing, like talking my shit, just more enigmatic beats, mm -hmm. I would think. Like more upbeat shit. Yeah. Do you feel like you make sexy drill? No. But I think the world would think that. No, because people say you don't talk about sex like that. I don't think sex is what makes sexy drill, though. I think it's the whole sound in itself. Okay. But I agree. I don't. I don't rap about sex, so I don't think it's sexy drill. I like to call it angelic drill. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's your genre. Angelic drill. Yeah. And it's not a lot of niggas that fit in it. Okay. So who fits in that genre? Nobody. Does anybody? Does the duplicates count? No. Can Yeti? Can Yeti? Yeah. Can Yeti? K E N Y E T T E E E. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Can Yeti with That's three. it. So it's just y'all two. So nobody else yet. All right. So the song with you and Skepta, what is that called? Is that that? Or is that angelic drill or is that it's like grime yeah it's like grime it's like yeah. grime like grime, grime sexy drill sexy, grime, yeah. Like that. yeah so how did y'all connect um gb glenn that's cash's manager no, that's, okay. he um skeps day to day in new york robbie he i hit him up like yo skep listens to fair to me every day he's coming to new york he want to lock in with mo so Glenn just hit us all up and was like, yo, we all going to the studio, Skep, pull up. And it was history after that. We made the one song, we made Miss Independent that night. And then I went to Toronto the day after, he had FaceTime me like, yo, usually I'll just do the one-off song and keep it pushing, but I fuck with your energy, bro. He like, we got to keep it pushing, we got to do more. And then he flew us all out to London. Okay. That's that guy right there. You know? Okay, that's fire. And then the um the guy that made the Kalani song, Jordan, I don't I don't wanna say his last name wrong. He shouted you out in an interview. Um, did y'all connect? Did y'all do something? Um, I know we, he was on the same beat. We haven't made music yet, but I met him at the big smoke fest in London. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. So you fuck with London? Yeah. Okay, you will go Kinda. back. Kinda. There's nothing like New York or you would go back to so or if I wasn't cool with Skep, that shit would not see me ever again. <laughs> Damn, London out of vibe, bro. It's alright. Like, it's alright. Like, I can't really explain it. Yeah. I'm from New York, so it's nothing like New York. Yeah, like, like time, going to these yeah. other places, like, it don't feel nothing like where I'm from. It's like, I can have way more much fun, way much more fun in my city than being in these funny places. And London is still trapped in, like, the 1800s. Like, <laughs> you can't smoke weed out there. <laughs> Niggas is racist. Like nah, yeah. it's illegal. They call just really wild, like small. That. Yeah, everything out there is just bullshit. Um, but shout out Skip. Well, I do care that like <laughs> we do have way more freedom like over here. In America. Yeah. That shit. I'm telling you, that shit like the 1800s. Yeah. They only eat burgers and chicken sandwiches. Bro, that's a vintage. Out <laughs> that's here. it. Yeah, nothing over there. I'm weak. Who is your favorite Slizzy to collab with? Uh, Vontae. People want y'all to do a joint album. I was gonna say that. Yeah, that's my brother. Like, I built a, like, like I said, like my music, it, my music is not really like just for notoriety. Like, I'm doing it for a reason, and I built that actual connection with Vontae. Besides just the music, like just chilling with bro and pulling up on bro and little stuff like that. So, 
if it had to come down to it, it'd definitely be vaunting. I'm I'm sort of I've been building a connection lately with like Chow and Lonnie as well, but Vontae would be my like that's my guy. Yeah. Are y'all gonna do a joint tape or like it's tea, like <laughs> it's the I don't know. I don't know. We might. We might not. So what's your relationship that is? Um I'm single. Okay. And being that you be with the slizzies, do girls kind of think you have mad bitches? Yeah. <laughs> There's been a couple times I've bumped into a girl and she's like, are you slizzy? Like, that's their first question. Like, not how old are you? Not where you from? It's like, are you slizzy? Do you be fucking mad girls? Yeah, that's that's their first question. That's the thing about the slizzy. <laughs> but I understand what come with it. I mean, like, what come even being around them. Yeah. It's not nothing. You got to okay. just learn how to deal with it. So, do you shake that stigma or you just I don't really care how people think about me. Do you even so, care for a girlfriend right now or are you locked in? Like, no, nah, yeah, I don't really care for none of that. Like, I be chilling, like, for real, for real. I don't like to get too lost in that shit because that's how I ended up getting to where I'm at now. I went through a bad shit, okay. and y'all yeah. niggas started going to a stew every day. Yeah, so, you feel me? Yeah. She wasn't a bop. She was just like, she was just like too much. I won't even put too much blame on her, feel me? I just think like, I wasn't in the headspace to, I wasn't prepared for a girl like her. She was a lot more advanced than I was. Okay. Feel me? So when it didn't go right, I just felt like the only way to express myself about it was going to the stew. And I just, at that time I had the stew in my crib. So I was just every day at it. Like, yeah, you gonna feel this. I was both like I was heartbroken, but I think I only think I was heartbroken because I was so young and I didn't know what it was yet. Like, cause after it didn't take me much to get over it. Like, I just had to start making a little money on my own, <laughs> and it was over with. So Shit went right on my head. Like, be a provider. Right. See how you just hit it on the head like that. I ain't girl. even say too much. I'm a girl. You don't have to say. That much. was it right there. <laughs> She was expecting something from me that I did not have at that time. And I started working. I went and got a job at Walgreens trying to fund what she expected it to be. And at that point, it kind of ended up being too late. So I turned that Walgreens job into funding my studio sessions and going and talking about her being a stupid bougie bitch. You feel me? And it got me where I'm at now. Like. <laughs> okay. Do you feel like, like that be girls thing now? Do you feel like girls are bougie now? Not even bougie. They just think you got. They just think you got it because you you put on this lifestyle. Well, you are flashing money. Yeah, but that's because I got it now, and it took me a while to get it. So I gotta show niggas that I got it. Like, okay. but okay. for me, it's just like, and I'm I'm a I have a very good judgment of character. So it's not like a bitch about to just come around and think I ain't gonna know what she here for. Okay. I like playing the game with bitches too. Okay. I be knowing what they here for, and I still just might talk to them. So you might trick sometimes. Uh, no. <laughs> nah, you make them think that's what it's about to be. Like, yo, if you stick, if you stick around and do this for a little bit, I'm going to get you right with that. And once it gets to that point, it's quiet. I go find a new one. Okay. All right. I mean, that's the recognition. Do you feel like you're a girl, I guess? <laughs> All right, so um, what are you working on now? Um... I'm working on a new project right now, actually. Mm-hmm. I was working on a Skepta project. Me and Skepta's gonna do a project. Um, but I think, I, you know, I just sat down a couple times and had this conversation with myself where I feel like now it's time to dial in. So I just pushed everything back a little bit and decided now I'm gonna work on my next project. Um, my first project I already had tucked so this one, this is the first body of music I'm actually working on from scratch. So I'm excited. I just wanted to put all, all that I cut into it. That's where I'm at right now. Okay. Okay. So Eddie produced most of those songs. He's gonna executive produce this project. Actually, he executive produced the last project. Okay. All right. So it's Eddie and Trav. Those like your main two. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. How you met Trav? Um, it's kind of funny how I met Trav. 
we did this we did this video this mu this fucking I don't even know what it's called, bro. And I hate that I that it's like that because I fuck with bro. But some shit with a mic and it was red and purple lights. You remember the name of it? His name was Trav too, Travito, and he worked with BET James. I just don't remember the name of his platform. Well, whatever. Um, he had this platform. I went on there. I did the free the song named Freestyle. That was one of my biggest old songs. Um, and when it dropped, everybody was commenting like, at Eddie, at Eddie, at Eddie, yo, you body this. And it was getting wild traction. <laughs> and then the nigga Trav appeared out of nowhere like, produced by me. <laughs> and they pinned his comment. So I'm like, okay. I never knew who made the beat. I hit him up. And he was sending me all of these like, he was sending so me beats like smoke? Angelic. Like you and Trav had smoke? Nah, <laughs> never, nah, I don't know. Why. Like, nah, like. it was just a little mix up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all it was for real. Okay, you and Trav locked in after that. After he started sending more songs. Yes, he started sending me the um, like the angelic. I have a song named Angelic. Mm -hmm. Those type of beats. Everybody loved that song. There for you, calling for you, mm -hmm. like cake, them type of beats. Nah. Fuck boy. Mr. Fuck he's, boy. He's crazy. Yeah. He's crazy. Yeah, he's going crazy. Yo, right can now. I explain? Let me explain the origin of that song real quick. Cause <laughs> it's actually kind of sick. Yeah. That, that kid is sick. I'm not gonna lie. What happened? Yo. Me, me. When I first went to Three XL, that's the label I'm signed to. Fuck boy was there. Eddie was there. Jiggy was there. Burke was there. We all cooking up. I made this one song. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Just random one song. We left the studio, song never got sent to me, fuck it. I make songs every day, I ain't tripping about it. We pull up on Fuckboy one day at the studio, and he plays this song, which ends up being Waste No Time. He plays Waste No Time, which is the whole song that I recorded that night that I'm talking about. He took it and did post-production and put it on a whole nother beat. So we listen, we in there listening, I'm like, you know, this kind of sounds familiar. I keep looking at Eddie, Eddie keep looking yeah, at me. Right. We like, Yo, what is this? Mind you, this, he, he, he keep playing that he shit. He keep back. playing it over yeah, and over again. Yeah, yeah, the like, fuck boy, what the fuck is this? He like, yo, gang, I'm not going to lie, bro. I took the vocals from your other song, and I put it on this beat. I said, nah, I know what you about to do already. Yeah, say that right now. That. And it ended up being my biggest song. Yeah, that's, like, Aww, that's right. It's kind of crazy how life works. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, it's boy, technically man. not my biggest song. Masterpiece is my biggest song. Masterpiece. Yes, but yes, Nine Lives is getting up there. Yeah, Nine Lives is, Lives, Lives is my biggest streaming debut to date. So when Nine Lives dropped, I did 275 streams first week. That's the biggest opening debut I've ever did with music. So mm -hmm. that also just kind of told me, like, this next project going to be crazy. because That's my right. latest drop. And it's my biggest streaming debut to we date. We was promoting that for a little, a little while though, no? And yeah, and when it dropped on the radar, they clipped it and made it its own video, mm -hmm. and that video did more views than the whole on the radar. Yeah, no, so, something called two point oh or something. Two point five. Two point five. Yeah, that they want. You dropped that too. That, that's that's, that's not love. Yeah. I just switched the name. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, got it. I'm like, okay, but you did nine lives on front of block. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Shit, so, a half a million. Yeah, so you're promoting. Mm hmm Okay, so um, the project's on the way. Any features? Or it's still, like, in the works? You say it's not from scratch, so... Yeah, it's still in the works, like... I could tell you, like, two or three people I want to get on there. Who you want to get on there? Um, I want Skepta to be on there, of course. Okay. I want... Hopefully, God willing, I could get, like, an ASAP feature. Okay. Like maybe if, even if it's not Rocky, like somebody ASAP just for that. Bird. Yeah, like twelve V. If if I yeah, I just want to get that Harlem feel to it for real. Okay. And then um, that's it. The third feature is a surprise because I know I'm gonna get it, so I'm not gonna say who it is. But you know you're gonna get it. Yeah, I know it's gonna be on the tape. So just guess who I think it is. We hope it's Don Tyler. I hope it is too. That wasn't what he's thinking. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. So we're gonna play a game. So you know that game. She's a ten, but 
Eddie, you too, okay? All right, bye. All right. She's a 10, but she follow all your bros. She's a one, zero. Yeah. She's, she's a like zero because she's a thought box. <laughs> and she's fanned out. I'm giving her like a five. Why are you following yeah. all my mans for? What's up with that? Yeah, that's funny. Those not your friends. Okay, she's a 10, but she don't know none of your music. She's still a 10. I actually kind of like that. Bro, you just said earlier that nah. you like when a girl know your music. I do, but I also, it, when a girl don't know my music, it just it just makes it more real. Like, I know she not here for what I do because she doesn't That's listen to me. That's a fact. For me? She's just here because she's here. I give it a seven. It's, it's the best of both worlds. Yeah. What'd you say? She's ten. A ten? All right. She's a ten, but she <clears> keep acting if you was Lizzie. Zero. She's yeah, she's like a two. She's, she's, like, a she's like a two. One zero. <laughs> Give it flat. Two one zero. zero. <laughs> and you get annoying after a while. Yeah. Like, like, mm. I mean, Alright, she has tell me she love her mother. She's still a ten. She's still a ten. Yeah. I'm not that old. Yeah. I'm too I'm not that old. No. Younger. Younger. Oh, Feel me? So I I ain't tripping about living with mom. I'm twenty four. But she got two kids. She's like, she's like seven. seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right. She is ten, but her cash up and her bio. Zero. Zero. <laughs> what? Not Zero. Same That's my bitch. Really, my yeah, brother. Yeah, really, ain't trying to trip out nothing. Right, she's dirt. All right. She is ten, but she talk too much. Seven. seven. Yeah. Seven. Nah, six. I was gonna say six. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. Six. I hate low key That's my pet peeve I think like a yapper though like, Nah my pet peeve I don't talk I much. hate niggas that I talk just to talk like, Yeah I don't talk niggas, much, bitches, though, So I think need somebody to balance That just saying, be looking for random conversation like, You know what I'm saying We like, don't have to talk at all gang Nah bitches do be yapper I love a For yapper. no reason he Nah I'm off like that, that Yeah but It really depends for real Yeah it depends on what you're talking about Like She's a four 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 She a four So you like silence <laughs> not nah. silence, but not just not just chatterbox. Like you just want to talk about nothing for no reason. Nah, yeah, I'm not on that. Could, yeah, it's okay saying. to not talk. It's not. Yeah, silence is. Yes, yeah, it's okay. Is cool it's not going to hurt nobody. I like silence. We know what's going be, on yeah. right here. I like you. You like me. We don't have to talk yeah, about we're it. Not talk about nothing. We here, but you, you can sit there. I can sit here silent. It's not going to bother yeah. nobody. I go on my phone. You go on your phone. Exactly. Y'all, y'all both from Harlem, right? Yeah. How did y'all know when y'all had that aura? I was born with it. Yo, Since birth, say that, I was born with it. Word. Since I came out the womb, yeah. I knew I was gonna be that nigga. Yeah, you was getting girls out the gate, right? Word to my mother. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really him back then. I ain't gonna gas it. Was really him I was shy, him. but now I'm him. So the, all that old time don't matter. I made up for it already. For me. So you wasn't really him back then. So when did you when when, when did you realize it was him? After I dropped my first song. After you dropped your first song. First song? So like Broadway high school vibes? Yeah. Okay, okay. When did you realize it was him? Um, I ain't gonna lie. You light skinned, so you been had it in you. Yeah, low key, you feel me? Like <laughs> I fake been had that um but like when I started peeping it for real, like like sixteen for real. Okay. What I was doing, I don't even know what the fuck I was doing at sixteen, but I just you know what I'm saying. Okay. I was so wild. Really like, yeah, I was wild, yeah. So did the money boost you a little bit, Mo? The money boost that order up a little bit? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I think that's actually my problem right now. Like, to be as transparent as possible. This is giving broke? Or you just... <laughs> nah, I just, I just think I'm getting, I got a little too comfortable because... Like, I had money all my life, but I never had, like, a, like a, a lot of money for me. So I think now that I'm like accomplish a little bit as an artist and I'm starting to see proceeds and reap the benefits of what I'm doing. Like, it's like, I'm getting a little comfortable. And I think right now my hardest problem is just getting out of that. Like understanding, like it's still a lot more to work for. Like I haven't done nothing yet. I just got a little bit of money. So I think money is actually haunting. Like if you independent, it's haunting. Like, if you a rapper right now, you independent and labels is throwing you deals and independent distros is giving you money, like, 
I don't I don't think it's the best idea to accept just because like money's gonna make you feel complacent like you feel like you did it already a, a big lump sum of money make you feel like you already did it I feel like I was hungry like I was working towards something I was working to be able to do whatever I want I was working to be able to like order black trucks and go wherever I want feel me now I got the money to do it like exactly and that's where I'm at right now like I'm just it's gonna take me a little bit because I'm still just trying to work myself out the fire, but it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. Okay. All right, back to she's ten. She's ten, but she got OnlyFans. Zero. Huh? She's zero. Zero. Zip. Oh, um. She's a ten, but hmm. she's a ten, but her ex a rapper. Zero. I hate fanned out bitches. It depends on who, who the rapper was. Hey, right. It depends on who the rapper was. It depends was. on who the rapper oh. was. <laughs> Y'all want me to say rapper? Yeah, guys. They were, yeah. They were rapper right now. Her ex is, um, her ex is a boogie. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, I ain't Nigga on said that. a boogie. A boogie that nigga though. <laughs> That's that's the problem, like, cause now she's gonna expect something from me, cause a boogie is able to provide yeah, this. Boogie, yeah, nah, I can provide. I'm mm, off that. I ain't got nah. Hashtag off there, that. Yeah, homie. <laughs> All right, she a ten, but she can't cook. She's still you a ten. Fool. Yeah, yeah, ten. She a ten. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Yeah, y'all are young. Cause what a fool. Well, I All cook. Right, she a ten, but she don't got no drip for real. Like she don't zero. Really that yeah, she's like a two. I give her a one. Two. Graceful one. Yeah, like a one, two. Yeah, like a one. Yeah. You gotta be able to match my fly. Yeah, like you can't just be outside like, looking crazy for real. Like, yeah, like I got that shit on. Like, she gotta like. She gotta match the swag for real. Like, okay. Damn, that's what it looks like crazy. All right, she a 10, but she wants an open situation. Zero. I'm, I you can't talk that. to me and nobody else, gang. I'm him. Like, it don't work like that, bro. If we agree on that situation, I'll fake be on that. So I'll give her like a five for real. Bro, bitches five is six. gonna, niggas is gonna try to fuck your bitch just because they know that she talked bro, to Eddie be, Rivers. I'm saying, I'll be doing my it's own thing. It's open too, city, like. Yeah, I'll be doing my own thing too, though. So but that's like, not pain, though. Like, that's I'm high like, with that. I'm high with that. I'm cool it's with that. It's an open situation, shit. Like, you killing that, somebody else is killing that, and somebody else might be killing that. It's open. Right, like so She could be like doing that, whatever she want because you doing whatever you want, right? That's not how that works. And that's not pain. Nah, but it's it's fake. It's you gotta be selfish. If I'm doing what I'm saying, so. It gotta be. I say five. You know what I'm saying? I ain't killing nothing for no reason. That's all I'm going to say. So, no, what you say? Zero. So, you're like a one girl at a time type of... No, I'm a, I might yeah, I'm be like a, that too, though. Like, I don't know how I am I yet. I take it one at a time. You know what I'm saying? The little too one many is too stressful. Too many girls is what? It's right. too stressful. Like, y'all already, mm-hmm. one is already too much. Life but is you f- have, like, fan interactions, though. Like, so the fans be, like, throwing it, like the girls? Yeah, but you got to know who to catch it from. Like, not everything is catchable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how do you say for this? Like, you got to know, like... How long they been throwing it? Like, it can't be like a like a two weeks ago kind of thing. Like you heard, waste no time and started throwing it. Like, I be looking in the crowd for bitches who be singing old music, and I be giving me the. But you know what? As much as I talk my shit, I'll never leave a show with a girl. Like, I never been on that. I don't. I don't be talking to fans. Like, I like to keep my shit. No, I'll be staying away from that. It's tricky. Because you don't know who you're dealing with at the end of the day. That's a fact. You definitely have to stay safe. Being an artist is dangerous right now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I ain't even getting no jewelry yet. What you think it's going to be when I get this big, <laughs> bossy, big, stupid Cuban? <laughs> what? My shit going to spin like Flavor Flav. <laughs> my shit going to be stupid. Stu- I deserve it. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, you yeah. yeah why not? No, I want my shit to say all too. I ain't even gonna explain it because niggas gonna steal my yeah, swag. That's all uh-huh. niggas do anyway. So uh-huh. I'm gonna just keep it to myself. Are you a watch type person? Gonna do a watch. Yeah. Type shit. Okay. Okay. I'm Are supposed to have my watch on right now. But. Mm. But what? I left it in the house. You a bait. 
Are you a flashy type person or you be chilling? I mean, I could get flashy, but I really like to chill though, for real. Like, I really you like to chill. Don't give that. Like, you get flashy. He's flashier flashy. than me. He get flashy. I be chilling though, like. You know, I be chilling. Him. This is not. I be chilling. Like, His shit chillin'. is rhinestone bedazzled. Yeah, like, yeah. I really be chilling oh, for real. Yeah. All right. So the project's on the way. Yes, so ma'am. Features. Some that we might not know of. Do you have a release date? Somewhere around December. But this year though. Yeah. Okay. It's my birthday month. Okay. Like you that. Virgo? Sag. Oh, you're Sag. You just I'm a Virgo. That's my mind. When's your birthday? September 8th. Shout out you to you, man. What the you a Virgo? I don't know. What are you? Taurus. Like, whoa, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, y'all are booty I'm as a Virgo moon, though. Virgo moon? Yeah. And you are a cocky as fuck, Sag. I'm not, though. I'm actually really humble. I could be though. Some humble yeah, kings over here. I should start. Like you can get there. I need a hit song first, then I'm gonna start popping my shit. <laughs> so you don't feel like which song's gonna be the hit song? Not yet. I, my what definition. Do you feel like it's a hit song? None of them. I, my definition yeah. of hit is different. Like my definition of hit is global. Like I think I have a hit in New York. Yes, like if I go places and perform Waste No Time, people I know it. But if I leave New York, I'm not all to our more anymore. So <laughs> that's the problem right now. Okay. So, so you think I'm bigger. I like that. Yeah, like that's I need a hit. Like that's good. a global hit. Okay. So project in December. It's only been two global hits off Sexy Drill though. Um, which ones do you say? For sure and Kehlani. That's it. I don't think anything else is global. Like nothing else is like if you leave, I say, if you, sure, punch, okay. I don't, that don't, I don't think rum punch count though, because yeah, it's, it's from really, the same person. Yeah. Uh, so for sure, Cash yeah, yeah, and yeah. Kaylani Jordan. Mm-hmm. Okay. So when you leave New York, I think they can go other places and play these songs, and people will know who they are. But, no, right. That's what I mean by global. Rum punch is like some states might be in tune. Exactly, yeah, yeah. you're not gonna go to UK. And play Rum Punch, and a bunch of people gonna know it. But that's just because you know, it's for sure, New York, right? exactly. Because yeah. you have a for sure yeah. where you'll go to London and play for sure, and people will be like, "Yo, I've heard this song before." Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's for right. me, that's right. yeah, with the ice spice, you know, right? exactly. exactly. Rum Punch is like a New York, like East yeah. Coast hit. That, that's how I feel about for us too, Bavante. Mm-hmm. It's like an East Coast hit. Yeah. For me. Right. Oh, no, I'm not diminishing nothing. I'm just saying. Okay. I feel like I'm in the same box as well. Right now, I feel like I'm looking for my yeah. for sure yeah. Kehlani. I like everywhere I go around New York, I definitely have like a little waste on time something. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to drive all around Vegas and hear the same shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Feel me? That's where I'm at right now. Okay. That's good. You're thinking big though. All right, but Project December. January maybe, but I'm banking on December. Said this year. Let's not, let's <laughs> Sometimes not. shit don't go as planned. You but gotta have a plan B. This is the last project. We're not doing this again. My plan A is December. My plan B is January. There's no plan B. So no plan a. All right, so December. All right, man. Deal. Eddie will be executive producing. Yes, Make man. Sure he's on the sure. December uh, route. No, you gotta tell Geek that. Right, yeah, yeah. Geek is the one you really gotta tell for real. Yeah. Everywhere in the world, but here. Geek runs the day to day now. So yeah. You gotta yeah. let Geek know. <laughs> That's a fact. All right, so tell people to find you. How can they tune in? Mr. All to All, man. On Instagram, All to All Mo, YouTube, everywhere else. Only place is Twitter. On Twitter, I'm actually Mr. All to All. <laughs> Mr. All to All One on Twitter. But everywhere else, I'm All to All Mo. So like you can find me on Graham, Eddie Rivers underscore. I was on school everywhere type shit. Yeah. This was beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. I really don't like interviews, but this made me love them. This was beautiful. You know I mean? I'm a vibe over here, you know. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Right. Shout out Koei, man. Yeah, Shout out Talking That Town, man. Yeah.